Hello everyone, welcome you back in my geography classes. Today we will discuss about the primitive subsistence farming for class 10. In the last video, which was an introductory video, I gave an introduction to the chapter of agriculture, where we discussed about the definition of agriculture, where we get to know what is the importance and why do you need agriculture. We also get to know about the different types of farming that are practiced in India. That is the primitive subsistence farming, the intensive subsistence farming and the commercial farming which also includes a plantation farming. So today in this video we will discuss about the primitive subsistence farming. Now as you can see the word primitive and subsistence let us understand the meaning of both these words. The primitive means old. And subsistence means own consumption. So primitive subsistence farming is a type of farming which is practiced from the old days. That means from the early days, this type of farming is practiced and it is practiced for own consumption. So primitive farming is an old or primitive method of farming. which is practiced, which is carried out for own consumption. This type of farming is practiced from the time when people led a very simple life and they used to do the cultivation with the traditional tools and techniques. So this is referred as a primitive subsistence farming. Now let us know the features of the primitive subsistence farming. The features of primitive subsistence farming are now, this type of farming is mainly practiced or we can say they are carried out on a small patch of land. So, on a very small patch of land, we can say that this type of farming is mostly carried out. Who are the ones who mainly practice this type of farming? These are practiced by the small farmers, especially the tribal people, mainly this type of farming is practiced with the help of traditional methods and traditional tools. So they use traditional methods and tools like hoe, dow digging, stick and practice this type of farming. Now in agriculture it is very important to use irrigation. Water is an important factor for cultivation of certain type of crops. Now in terms of the primitive subsistence farming at that time what how they used to get the water? They were mostly depend on monsoon rain. Now Unlike the modern farming techniques, here we will see there is no use of chemical fertilizers or pesticides. Mainly, the farmers are dependent on the natural fertility of the soil. So, they depend on the natural fertility of the soil. Who are the laborers? Mostly the work is done by the family members or collectively it is done by the community members. 
how this type of farming is mainly done for own consumption. That means production that is obtained from this type of farming is mainly used for own consumption. So these are the features of primitive subsistence farming that it is carried out on a small patch of land. Small farmers, especially the tribal peoples, practice this type of farming. They mainly use the traditional methods and tools. They depend on monsoon rain. They depend on the natural fertility of the soil. Mainly then family members or the community members work as laborers. And this type of farming is mainly done to obtain food which can be utilized for own consumption. Now let us see that how this type of farming is practiced. Now let us see the process by which the primitive subsistence farming is practiced. Now first step is to select the plot of land. The plot of land which has been selected are enjoyed with natural vegetation. Now after selection of the plot of land the natural vegetation are cut down and the remaining vegetation are burned. So what we can say that first the selection of a plot of land. This small patch of land is cleared for agriculture. Now how it is cleared? Cleared by cutting down the trees and then whatever trees or the natural vegetations which are remaining burning the remaining natural vegetation. And this is done in the month of December till January. Now, so first a patch of land is cleared for agriculture. This patch of land is cleared by cutting down the trees and burning the remaining natural vegetation. And this is mainly done in the months of December and January. Now, after this, what happens? Now, the ash that is obtained by burning the remaining vegetation, that ash is mixed up with the soil. First, the ash is spread over the land and then the ash gets mixed up with the soil. Now, the ash provides the nutrients to the soil. This plot of land is utilized for a very short period of time. We can say that here the cultivation is done on a temporary basis. That is for a very short period of time. Now, after the short period of time when the cultivation is done in this plot of land and now the land has become infertile, that means it is no more uh, capable of producing crops. Now, the plot of land is kept alone or we can say that no cultivation is practiced in this plot of land for a relatively longer period of time than it has been utilized for cultivation. It is left uncultivated for 10 years or more than 10 years so that it can regain its fertility. And we will see that this plot of land as it is left uncultivated for a longer period of time. Now what will the people do who used to cultivate here? They will move to another plot. They will go, go and search for another plot of land where they will go ahead with this primitive subsistence farming. That is why we call this farming as 
the slash and burn agriculture slash and burn slash means cutting down and burning of the vegetation and also it is known as the shifting cultivation so there are two other names slash and burn and shifting cultivation I hope all of you understood that how the process of primitive subsistence farming is carried ahead. Now this primitive subsistence farming is known by different names in different parts of the world and in India. Like in India, it is known as Juming in the northeastern states. Uh, we will see that in the northeastern states of our country, India, this type of farming is predominantly practiced till now as because we have large number of forested areas there and the people who are living there are mostly and we have a large number of tribal population there so that is why still now shifting cultivation is practiced in the northeastern states of india now let us see that what are the different names by which the primitive subsistence farming is known as in different parts of the world and in our country india the primitive subsistence farming is the primitive method of farming which is practiced in many parts of the world by different names. Let us know what are the different names by which they are known in different parts of the world. It is known as Milfa in Mexico and Central America. It is known as Conoco in Venezuela, as Roca in Brazil, as Masol in Central Africa, as Ladang in Indonesia and as Ray in Vietnam. In India, this primitive form of cultivation is also known by different names. It is known as the Bavar or Dahiya in Madhya Pradesh, as Podu or Penda in Andhra Pradesh, as Pamadavi or Kuman or Pringa in Orisha, as Kumari in Western Ghats, as Waltre in southeastern Rajasthan, as Khil in Himalayan belt, as Kurua in Jharkhand, as Chuming in northeastern region, as Pamlo in Manipur, and Deepa in Bastar district of Chhattisgarh and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Well, we get to know the different names by which the primitive subsistence farming is known in the world and also in our country, India. Now, the primitive subsistence farming has certain disadvantages or has certain negative impacts on the environment. Now, let us see what are the disadvantages or negative impacts of the primitive subsistence farming. Now the first disadvantage of primitive subsistence farming is deforestation as it is referred as slash and burn agriculture so we can well understand that a large number of trees are cut down so it leads to deforestation. Now deforestation will lead to soil erosion because due to the cutting down of trees we will see that the soil loses and it will accelerate the soil erosion. Now, due to soil erosion, landslide and choking of river is a major problem that will occur. Now, due to the primitive subsistence farming and deforestation, we will also see that it will lead to loss of nutrients. So the plot or suppose the field will 
lose the nutrients and will lead to desertification. Often desertification is a common problem that we can see due to primitive subsistence farming. What are the other problems? We will also see that it leads to biodiversity loss. Now the plants that are grown in that plot of land where the primitive subsistence farming is practiced or the animals who used to live in that plot of land all will die because of the burning and mostly we will see either either the plants will get burned and the animals will either die or else we can say that their habitat is lost so we can say it will lead to habitat loss of animals especially if we will talk about the tropical regions we know the tropical regions are rich in biodiversity so there we will see that due to the practice of primitive subsistence farming a large number of animals are in the verge of extinction and there are many animals who are becoming endangered so these are the disadvantages of the primitive farming deforestation soil erosion landslide loss of nutrients biodiversity loss well in this video we discussed about the primitive subsistence farming we discussed about the features of primitive subsistence farming we discussed about the process of primitive subsistence farming that how it is carried ahead we also discussed about the different names by which it is known in the world and also in our country india and we also get to know about the disadvantages of primitive subsistence farming i hope i made it very clear to you and all of you understand understood it well now what you will do read the ncrt read in between the lines and follow the video properly then the concept will be fully clear if you have any problem or any suggestion you can comment in the comment box below if you like my video and my content don't forget to hit the like button if you want to watch more videos related to this chapter do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the further notifications of my upcoming videos till then stay tuned for my next video which will come on intensive subsistence farming stay safe thank you mm -hmm.